Mayday, Mayday, this is Joe. I I'm lost. Running low on water. Situation is critical. Mayday, Mayday. Unmanned airborne vehicles, flying machines which perform remote and computer-controlled aerial missions without risking human lives on board, have many practical military and civil uses, including search and rescue missions. The annual UAV Outback Challenge invites participants from around the world to design, build and fly their own UAV and to put their skills to the test in a simulated rescue mission. The challenge is divided into two categories. Mission 1 is designed for Australian high school students. Mission 2, an open category, is designed for university students and enthusiasts from around the world. On competition day, teams converged on King Arroy in Queensland's Outback for the annual UAV Outback Challenge. Once again, the event tested the mettle of all competitors and proved not only the genius of the Wright brothers, but also that to be a high-flying success, you had to be willing to accept the good with the bad. While the main focus of the event is flying, teams can also choose to test their creative skills and produce a video documentary detailing their journey in the lead-up to the challenge. Viewers got to witness a wide range of aircraft designs, insightful building techniques, engineering and computing capabilities, and impressive test flights that showed interest in the UAV industry is alive and well. Despite some mishaps, most of the teams met their milestones. Mission 1 calls on teams of Australian high school students to deliver emergency supplies to a dedicated target zone. Sounds simple enough, but with a series of barriers blocking the flight path and the bombardier using a computer screen to provide a visual of the target, the challenge would prove to be no joy flight. The UAVs ranged in design and scope from traditional fixed wing to this innovative helicopter design. But perhaps the most amazing sight was the aerobatics this UAV had to offer. Maybe the controller thought he was part of an air race. Then again, maybe not. Better luck next time, Maverick. As a highlight of the event, Boeing Defence Australia and in situ showed off the technical capabilities of their UAV, the Scan Eagle, setting the benchmark and laying down a challenge for all aspiring aerospace engineers. After that impressive display, it was time for open age university students and enthusiasts from around the world to compete in Mission 2. This challenge saw teams embark on a mission to design, build and fly their UAVs around a 2 by 2 nautical mile search zone to locate and drop emergency supplies to a lost bushwalker, Outback Joe. Once again, video documentaries from our challenges showcased how much dedication and technical aptitude was involved in creating these complex machines. Test flights may go to plan, and all necessary precautions can be addressed. However, when Outback Joe is in need, the best laid plans sometimes come undone, as some of our competitors found. Sadly, there were no awards for best burnout, but when the UAVs got off the ground, the teams did manage to demonstrate just how useful and technically capable UAVs can be across a wide range of tasks. And if you can't make it as a pilot, you could always make a great baggage handler. The UAV Challenge culminated in achievement awards being given to the most successful participants of Mission 2 and the winners of Mission 1. No event of this size and scope can work without a dedicated group of sponsors. The UAV Outback Challenge is no exception and thanks to the support of government and some of the biggest industry names, the future of the event and Australia's UAV industry is in the best possible hands. If you'd like to support the UAV Challenge, go to www.uavoutbackchallenge.com.au and request an information kit.